All we got for supplies is what we stuffed into the boat. I mean, we have rice and beans, but we don't have meat. We gotta get out and start hunting. Oh, let's see. It's a totally different experience out here. There's so much back at home that I've taken for granted. When we're back in town, we just go to the grocery store, pick up a little bit of meat and call it good. But out here, there's no grocery store to go to. You gotta find something. For years, Chris's father sustained his family by hunting in the woods around their cabin. The meat is here, but Chris has yet to find it. My responsibility to keep Jess fed is on my mind all the time. I'm the man of this household I should provide. Here we go. Did you get something? Oh, yeah. Oh, nasty. I almost lost him down to squirrel hole. To live a subsistence lifestyle, you need to learn to live off the land. You just put a splash of water in, a handful of seasoning. We're in the middle of nowhere. Sometimes we're gonna have to eat squirrel. Chris and Jesse had hoped for a hearty first meal. Instead, they're getting a reality check. All right, Chris, squirrel stew. This is a new experience for me. I grew up moose hunting and eating a lot of wild game, but honestly, it never crossed my mind that squirrel was really edible. It's way tougher than I thought. I was totally confident coming out to the Cosna, but now that we're here, I'm, I'm a little nervous because I know that it's just gonna get harder and harder. This is some tough land. And there's so little meat on it. It just, it almost, it almost seems like a waste. I don't think we should um, eat squirrels unless we're starving in the future. Yeah, this is just so much work and just so little benefit. We, sh we need to find a, a bigger protein supply, do a little tracking of moose. Hunting one meal at a time isn't going to cut it. Chris needs one big kill. I have to get one large animal and moose is it. If we can't find a good source of fat and protein, we're just not gonna make it through the winter. But survival in Alaska means thinking ahead, mm. and they can't hunt unless they find a way to preserve their meat. If we catch a moose, we're gonna have to smoke the meat, so I think it's really important that we start on the smokehouse. If you don't have a smokehouse before you go hunting, everything you hunt for goes bad. We definitely need to get out there and start tracking, because this squirrel is not gonna cut it. <laughs> 